Family TV. Thank you so much once again for joining us. And on the latest news today, one of the British Conservative Party's biggest donors transferred £1.5 million, pounds, $2 million dollars to Prince Andrew, days after he borrowed a similar amount from a Luxembourg private bank controlled by the businessman's family. So guys, today on this news, you're telling me that it could be revealed that Meghan Markle could take a 1.5 million backhander from a bank that has been flagged for money laundering and Piers Morgan and all the other trolls would be silent about it. Every single person in the UK currently, British tabloids, they are all quiet about it. Okay, okay. Every single person acts like they are blind to what the recent news of Prince Andrew acquiring such substantial funds from not very much any reputable source. And every single person is quiet about this news. But you know what? We have to talk about this. We really, really need to talk about this. We just can't keep letting these people get away with atrocious criminal activities. We know British Tabloids will be quiet about it. But we will yell it to the rooftops about the double standards and the hypocrisy of what keeps happening in the UK. One woman is bullied who's done absolutely nothing wrong but simply fall in love with a prince while being mixed race and she has been punished, abused, vilified to the point of contemplating committing suicide. We need to talk about this. And this is the news, guys. Prince Andrew's £1.5 million loan paid off by a top political donor. The company linked to businessman David Rowland transferred funds. Duke of York helped bank Havilland pitch clients for years. One of the British Conservative Party's biggest donors transferred £1.5 million to Prince Andrew days after the prince borrowed a similar amount from a Luxembourg private bank controlled by the businessman's family. David Rowland wired the money to a London account at Bank Avaland SA held by the Queen of England's second son in December 2017. According to interviews with two people familiar with the transactions and bank documents seen by Bloomberg News. The transfer was earmarked for payment of a £1.5 million loan from Bank Havilland the Prince had taken out just 11 days earlier. The transactions offer a unique insight into something the British public has puzzled over for years. How Andrew could afford his lavish lifestyle on a relatively modest steep end. They only raise fresh questions about the potential conflicts created by his dubious social circle, which included the late pedophile financier Jeffrey Epstein. Andrew, who had operated as an unofficial door opener for Roland and his family for more than a decade, was able to borrow the money despite a warning from Bank Havilland staff that the loan was not in line with the risk appetite of the bank an internal credit application shows. The bank rarely, if ever, made unsecured loans to clients, former employees said. This one was approved in part because it opened up further business potential with royal family. As you can see, values of the royal family being shown here live by Prince Andrew once again. This are values of the monarchy. Make no mistake about it. And not on the same document said, while the increased loan is unsecured and granted solely against the credibility of the applicant, both his position and that his mother is the sovereign monarch of the United Kingdom to provide access for, to funds for repayment if need be. As you can see, cashing in on the monarchy and their positions. Prince Andrew, being the queen's son, was granted a loan by a bank.
The November 2017 bank Havila loan, which carried an 8% interest rate, replaced an existing £1.25 million facility that had been extended or increased 10 times since 2015, most recently that March. The additional £250,000 borrowed by Andrew was earmarked for general working capital and living expenses. We know mommy will bail him out, obviously. The loan was due in March 2018 but was repaid early using £1.503,000 transferred to the prince from a currency registered company controlled by the Roland family, according to one of the people. The document showed the money was routed through a bank Havilland account belonging to Albany Reserves Limited. The Albany Reserves account was on about 70 of the Royal family, Roland family opened at bank Havilland over the years said the person who had direct knowledge of the accounts and asked not to be identified for fear of retribution. David Roland is listed as the director of Albany Reserve Company filings show. This demonstrates yet again that significant questions need to be asked about Prince Andrew's business dealings and his association with some dubious characters, said Norman Baker, a former UK government minister and author of a book about the British royal family's finances. Parliament should investigate this matter with some urgency. A spokesperson for the Duke of York declined to comment about the transactions. Prince Andrew, the spokesperson said, is entitled to a degree of privacy in conducting his entirely legitimate personal financial affairs on which all appropriate accounting measures are undertaken and all taxes duly paid. A spokesperson for Bank Havilan said he couldn't comment about customers. David Roland did respond to emails and text messages inquiring about the terms of the transfer. Roland has never been a director or had an executive role at the bank, which is owned by a web of offshore companies controlled by his family. Despite the structure, former insiders say there was never any doubt he was in charge. The 61-year-old prince, ninth in line to the throne, added some sparkle to the tiny Luxembourg bank the Rolands bought in 2009. He helped them pitch their services to potential clients from the ranks of the world's dictators and kleptocrats, Bloomberg Business Week reported last November. He was the guest of one at the official opening of Bank Havilland when the Rolands opened a branch in Monaco in 2012. Andrew was there to give a speech. And when they set up a joint venture with Abu Dhabi sovereign World Fund Mubadala in 2018, Andrew cut the ribbon at the opening ceremony. When Andrew was in with them, David and his son Jonathan often introduced themselves as investment advisors to the prince and the royal family. They even joined him on an official trip to China when Andrew was the UK special representative for trade and attended some of his meetings. Jonathan Roland said in an email that he left the bank in 2013. When Andrew received the November 2017 loan, Bank Havilland was under investigation by the Luxembourg regulator for potential money laundering violations. The probe was initially focused on a 25 million euro, 29 million dollar loan made to Nigerian oil magnate Kola Aluko, despite newspaper reports linking him to a bribery scandal. It was expanded to include other politically exposed people the bank had taken on as clients, including the daughters of Azerbaijan as President Ilham Aliyev. The Rollers met with Aliyev and his family when they accompanied Andy on a visit in 2008, one of several they met with the prince of that country. The regulator fined the bank 4 million euros in 2018 for not having safeguards in place to protect against money laundering, one of the biggest fines it has ever levied. The breaches were apparently serious enough that the regulator informed local prosecutors who opened a criminal criminal probe that remains open. Earlier this year, Luxembourg regulators asked Bank Havilland questions about the network of accounts the Roland family controls, saying one of the people who has direct knowledge of the matter. Like all financial institutions, we are subject to routine inspections and audits. The Bank Havilland spokesperson said the bank continuously cooperates with the Authorities and provides all the necessary disclosures and any influence of wrongdoing is categorically denied. Compliance with legal and regulatory requirements are the foremost priority of the bank. Andrew was sacked from his public roles in 2019 after a television interview about his relationship with Epstein. Last month, a U.S. judge ordered the prince to testify under oath in a lawsuit brought by a woman who alleges she was recruited by Epstein as a teenager and forced to have sex with Andrew, a claim. He has denied. 
So the November 2017 loan was made when Andy was still a working royal, flying around the world, promoting an initiative to connect young British entrepreneurs with prominent business leaders, when in reality he was only promoting himself. His only known income is a Royal Navy pension of £20,000 and an annual stipend from his mother of £250,000, yet he has lived the lifestyle of a multi-millionaire. In 2007, he sold a mansion to his mother had given him for £3 million more than the asking price to a Kazakh oligarch who let it fall into despair. Let her bought a $23 million Swiss chalet. Devin Roland, the son of a scrap metal dealer from London who dropped out of school at 16, made his first million pounds in his 20s buying and selling real estate. He later moved on to shipping, timber and chemical companies before setting up a family office, which he claimed managed $1 billion of his own money and that of his friends. Roland has donated more than £6 million to Britain's Conservative Party. In 2010, David Cameron, British Prime Minister at the time, chose Roland as the party's treasurer, his chief fundraising position, but he resigned before assuming the post after news reports about his business dealings and offshore tax status. David and Jonathan Roland and their wives had front row seats at the 2018 wedding of Andrew's youngest daughter, Princess Eugenie, at St. George Pap Chapel in Windsor Castle. It marked the pinnacle of David Roland's social accent. Ascent. Whoa, Values of the Monarchy by Pro Showcase by Prince Andrew. Those are facts. Now let's take a look at the Twitter comments showing that a tweet by DOH Stan says, but, but they report without fear or favor. Someone said, to be honest, I'm actually surprised about how much of the British royal family questionable stuff has been made public, even if not widely reported upon. It almost seems like some intramural palace knitting games are going on. A person said, called Haven Bakley said, invisible contact, not so vi invincible after all. So that chief troll, Pierce Morgan, you mentioned, you would have demanded her head. Now, those are actually some of the comments. And someone said, Melanin is popping, said, Yes, because they are white and come from wealth, privilege, and hundreds of years of inbreeding, thievery, and sexual deviance, all the things that they worship. And that's why the likes of Prince Andrew can get away with doing just that. Now, tell me what you think about this report that has recently been out, Values of the Monarchy. And thank you so much for joining us. Tell us what you think. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment below. With so much love from Sasquatch Family TV. Thank you for tuning in.